Hi, uh, my name is Purna Kashyap and I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic specializing in the care of patients with uh, irritable bowel syndrome uh, with a special focus on the role of gut microbiota in gastrointestinal diseases. Um, I want to discuss a paper which was recently published uh, in the journal Nature uh, by Lawrence David uh, titled Diet Rapidly and Reproducibly Alters the Human Gut Microbiome. But before I do that, I want to put this study in the context of why it's relevant in patients with uh, IBD or inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, we, we now understand that inflammatory bowel disease is a multi-factorial uh, uh, disease with contributions from the environment, from host genetics, and more recently uh, from gut microbiota. Uh, and evidence has been piling uh, about the role of gut microbiota in uh, patients with uh, IBD showing a uh, change in gut microbial composition. Um, an increased risk of uh, inflammatory bowel disease with use of antibiotics in early age, and, and several other lines of evidence which point towards uh, the role of gut microbiota in inflammatory bowel disease. Interestingly, we know that long-term dietary patterns uh, are, are, can influence our gut microbiota, as seen um, by differences across geography um, uh, of, of the composition of gut microbiota. Um, what we don't know is how short-term changes in diet can influence gut microbiota. And that's where this study helps fill a very important void uh, in our knowledge and shows that short-term dietary intervention can in fact uh, change not only uh, uh, the gut microbes which are present, uh, and, but also what they're doing at, at a given point of time. To do that, the uh, author of the study um, designed a very clever study design where they took 10 healthy volunteers and they put them on um, two diets, one which was plant-based and the other which was animal-based. And they were fairly extreme diets, but they were able to show that over a period of just five days, there were dramatic shifts in both which microbes were present, but also what they're doing. Um, this is uh, uh, fairly exciting because now we can uh, extrapolate to say maybe diet causes a change in the microbes which might in fact be influencing symptoms in patients with IBD. Of course, we need to, to heed caution here because this is just an observation which needs to be tested in patients with IBD. Another interesting facet of this story was that patients on animal protein diet uh, showed an increase in a bile-loving bacteria called Bilophilia wurtzworthia, which was recently shown in another study in the same journal uh, to induce colonic inflammation in mice. Uh, putting the two together, it would be very tempting to uh, conclude that animal-based, uh, animal protein-based diets lead to a change in these gut microbes, which can then cause inflammation and worsen symptoms in patients with IBD. However, uh, I think it's a little early uh, to make that conclusion till we do more controlled studies um, in patients with IBD uh, to test this hypothesis. And in fact, our recent study has shown that diet can in interact with host genetics to alter gut, microbi to, to alter gut microbiota. So um, all the more reason that we have to be careful while interpreting the study, but definitely it, um, it, it provides hope um, for the future that diet may in fact be a major player as a therapeutic agent to treat uh, the disease itself or, or flares of the disease which may occur in patients.